The Add Graphics Global Change allows you to add a selected graphic to a page, page range, or complete document. The graphic used in the Global Change is independent from the original design and thus can be used by any open document in Acrobat. To illustrate the possibilities, we are going to place the logo on the first page next to each page number uh, on the next pages. As you can see, this will bring two difficulties into the equation. First, the fact that the logo is too large, so we'll have to scale it down. Second, that the page number for even pages is on a different location than the ones on the odd pages. We'll handle both issues in this movie clip. First, what you need to do is select the object that you want to add on the other pages. So I select my title, I deselect any elements that I don't want to use and I open the global change panel through the toolbar icon. We find the add graphics in the standard list in the group add. Let's modify the global change by opening the editor. First we see that we have the graphic so I have the logo selected so I can grab that selection and immediately you see a preview of the logo. We don't need to rotate but we do need to scale. We're going to scale it down to 10% of the original size. We don't need transparency and we're going to add it at the foreground. On the even pages we want to place the graphic in the lower left corner depending on the lower left of the trim box in this case. So what I'll do is I'll go to page 2 and I'll select the page number so I know where I have to place my logo. What I can do is I, when I've selected the page number I can grab the position from that page number to know exactly where it is on the page. Of course we need to change these values to make sure we're not placing it on top of the page number. Finally we Click Save to acknowledge this global change. We want to keep this global change and the parameters, so we're going to do a drag and drop from the standard into the local database. At the same time, we're going to rename by doing a control click uh, and renaming it to an even, so make sure that we know it's from the even pages. Finally, we go and say run on and we can define that we only run on the even pages. You click on run, you execute the global change. We find that the global change has been added to page 2 and page 4. For the odd pages, we're going back to the original global change and open the editor once more. We don't need to change the graphic or the scaling parameters but we do need to change the position. In the, on the odd page it's looking at the lower right so I'm changing my drop downs to lower right and then I'm going to an odd page and select the page number. Just as before after selecting it we can grab that position making sure that we know exactly where it is on the page and we still have to change the values to make sure that we're not putting it on top of the page number. So again, I'll say 18 on 6, and we acknowledge by clicking Save. Just like for the even pages, we're going to do a drag and drop into the local database to save these parameters, and we're going to identify it by adding odd at the end of the name. Now we could choose odd only in the drop down for the complete document, but we do not want to place it on the title page. So we're going to set up a page range. Select pages and then add 3, 5. So this is going to add it on page 3 and 5 of my document. I run it and I get my results. Find more movie clips about other global changes on infocus.com.